Hello and welcome to Peak Wave Productions. This is Todd Edwards, and today I'll be showing you about Cubase's new phase coherent quantizing. Phase coherent quantizing was added to Cubase 12 Pro. Uh, I've been playing around with it for the last couple of weeks now, and it's amazing. So I just want to show you on a whole song how it works, really, and a few tips. So first I'll show you through this song. This is a song by a band called Defile Reason called Redemption. It's just a very stripped back, rough version. <laughs> As you can hear, it's not too badly out of time, but if we look at the waveform, obviously there's a few dodgy ones here, and it could be tighter. So first I'm going to show you with the drums. So we're going to start with the things that are going to hit the most, like the transients. So for this, it's kick and snare driven. There's no toms or anything. So I'm going to go with this kick in first. So if we double click it, it's going to take us to our sample editor. Once you double clicked, and you've got the left hand side here, you'll see these options. We want to click on hit points, and this will show us each transient. And this is a really cool thing as well on this. If, so we can see it's read them really well. This one's a little bit, this one's a little bit late, it's kind of missed it. But I'll come back to that one and I'll show you why in a second. But if we click edit hit points as well here on the left hand side in that inspector menu, it gives us this option, which just allows us to click on each area and play that back that slice, just so you can make sure there's nothing missed. Like this here, we might have wanted, but you can hear it's kind of just a knock. I think it's like a snare, like a ghost note. Same with that. We don't want that in there, so it doesn't really matter. So it's really good just to check, you know, check through each one. So that's kick done. We can see they're all good on the transients. Move to snare now. Double click. Again to hit points. Again we've got each one. Again we don't want them. That's just some bleed from the kick there. This one here. That I've just seen. This one's a little bit. So what we can do is if we do need to move them. You go to the top here, you can have the lock hit point, move hit point, It'll just give you different options there. We can just move that like that. So now we're going to get straight from that. Might want a little bit more of it actually. And again, you can just check the same way. Just click. Which is awesome. I love that feature. So there, we've got a big gap here. So all we're going to do again is bring that across. The main hit's there, really. So, sorted. Um, yeah, it looks like it's nice and clean after that. We're just going to go with that for now. So once we've done that, we've sorted out our kick and our snare hit points. We're going to highlight all the, all the drums we're using. Going to add track, folder. Let me call that drums. So now we're going to drop all them, all the drums into that drum folder. There's two buttons here, which is really handy as well. We've got group editing, so obviously makes life easier when we come to edit now. Everything will be one go. And then we've got this wave, which is the phase coherent audio warp. So we're going to click on that. So now we're going to go to edit quantize panel. Again, you can cut these into sections if you want them a little bit, you know, if there's, you've got different timings and stuff. But we're just going to stick with that for now. So I want to hear that kick in the most. Also, this is the point I wanted to make on here. We've got when the snare lands against that kick, as you can see there, if I move this a second. We've got snare top here. 
And we want it more to focus on that snare, really, than the kick drum, because the kick drum, we can get away with dragging it in a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower that priority of the kick. So it's going to aim for them snares instead here now. And then they're separated enough that, obviously, it's going to go dum ka dum ka dum ka anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Three priority, five priority on the snare top. So the most we've got in this beat is dum ka dum ka, but at the start we've got da 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 da. So we're using eighth notes now. That's a really important thing as well, just to make sure you've got, because obviously you're just going to push everything in a different direction if you've got that, you know, a bit lower or higher. And that's it. I'll just show you on the drums on its own, and then I'll solo between them. So without, back on, get off, back on, so yeah it's just done it, it's nothing I need to move there at all, it's yeah, it's literally just nailed it in one go. I'll just stick the metronome on for you so you can hear. Yeah, so amazing. So next we got bass. So I'm going to bring that into it as well. See again, just a little bit late here. So again, not too bad really. So we're going to start by double clicking on this. It's a bit more fun with bass than drums. Obviously, drums are a lot more. You see, transients a lot better. But again, we got threshold. So it's done a good job of that first one there. So you got dum 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 dum. So these are unnecessary at the end here. These are just two notes. So we're gonna play with the threshold. It's not really gonna get them out of that. So that's where we bring in the intensity, which is really cool. So you'll see those just disappear now. So we got so perfect now. This one, obviously get to a point where it's close enough, but then, you know. So you can just delete them off the top of there as well. Oh, good. We've got two notes there. We can see that one there. So we're going to bring one there. We've got one already set up. We're just going to bring that across. Perfect. Only one I can see. There you go. Let's just go. There we go. So bring that one in. See, most of the time it's already registered them. We just need to click back at that top lock hit point. See again, we can see one here. So we're just going to add one in there. So. so There's a lot of unnecessary sorry, ones there. We're just going to. There you go. Get that. Done. So we're going to go with that for now, although that one's going to annoy me. I'm just going to shift that one in very slightly. So again, from here, we're going to go straight to Edit, Quantize Panel. So again, we're working to dum da bam ba bam ba 
boom, ba. So we're getting them eighth notes in there. So again, nice and easy. Eighth, quad ties, done. So. good job again so just to point out as well that one's not face coherent quantizing that's just quantizing on that one so again this is a double take of this acoustic I've panned them hard left and right so you can hear a bit better them fighting against each other So again with this, we're going to check these markers first. So again we've got two there, you can see that one, just there. So we're going to bring in, threshold is fine again, so we're going to bring in a bit more. Okay, it doesn't like that one. So I'm just going to bring one in instead. So I'm going to bring it on here instead, let's make life easier. So again, if you want to edit a bit closer, we have got at the top here, time warp. We're going to go to free warp. We're going to click on this. And there, you can see where that is. That's the one we're going to control. We're going to leave it for now, because once we've brought in that marker, if we start shifting everything around it, it will push everything else out. So you need, say if we're moving this note, we need to make sure marks are set up either side, so we can do that. Otherwise, it's going to end up a nightmare, and you move literally everything. So don't do that. So we're going to concentrate on this first one. So it seemed to have done a pretty good job. So we're just going to go with that for now. So from here now, I'm going to put these both in a folder, same way as the drums. Folder. Task. Again, drag them both in. Click on group editing once again. Click them both. So from here, we're going to go edit, quantize panel, and we're going to tell it just to concentrate on that top one instead. Because that'll be nice and locked to it then. So we're going to go. So this is actually 16th notes, but I'm going to do it for now to 8th notes again. Let's have a listen to that. So this is when we can start shifting stuff a little bit. Obviously we've got something weird going on here. So if we hold ALT, whilst we do that we can get rid of markers. It's that one that's the issue there, we can hear that's dragging a bit. Drag that. One. There we go. We can see that one. It's there. We can lock it to crypto. That's perfect. Again. Come back. So you can see it's done. It's pulled it out a little bit. Bad up. See, it's done something a little bit weird to that first note. We're going to get rid of that. Get in there. Remember, you don't have to do all of it. You can just kind of go. So I know that's on this beat. I know that one's on that beat. So you can clear the whole area and work from there if you want to. Tiniest, tiniest bit of drag on that one. So I'm going to push that back. Ooh, 
so I'm crazy. So we're going to get rid of them to there. And that's what I was saying again. We've got, we know that one's good. So we're just going to... I'm kind of rushing through this for the sake of a video, but... You know, you can go into as much detail as you... Must be one with it, really. Get rid of them. You can see that one's actually there, so... Let's make that one drag. So I'm not doing going too crazy in this video. I'm just I'm just showing you when you can do the phase, you know, the phase correlation together, because obviously that's the point of the video. You can go through each one, you know, tidy up this first one first, quantize it, render, and then you can group and then tell the bottom one to follow the top one. Here, little. See that one's there, so I'm gonna bring that in, and that's right now because we can see that extra transient land in there. So I said this isn't perfect, but you know, for the sake of the video, I just want to show you. That better. Could be really helpful deleting parts of time because it can be so easy to get stuck on a part and you're wondering where they're going so you just get rid of them and then obviously it'll give you the rough idea again so that's pretty good there you can bring that there we run that one there it can save you a lot of time just deleting it again and then starting there we go so Everything all together now. So as you can see for a for you know a quick arrangement, it's pretty quick in comparison to slicing and dragging these parts over stuff. So let's have a listen back. As you can hear, there's a couple of things over here, but that's only because I've, you know, simplified what I'm doing for now. But yeah, I hope that showed you through phase gear and quantizing. And yeah, for drums, it's saving me so much time and I'm not hearing any phase issues at all. It's amazing. So yeah, if you've got any um, questions or anything, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you very much. Have a good day.